Hi, and welcome to our summary on how to use our chronic failure impact calculator. This was a very simple tool. It's just an example of how we can show the importance of these chronic failures that we fix over and over again and what they actually cost over a year. It's our way to be able to communicate with finance people. Step number one is we just have to pick a system, a process, a line, a train, wherever we work, uh, pick that system and say we're going to focus our analysis on that particular system. The second thing we need is a downtime number. If operations, they should have that number and it should be ingrained in their mind, but certainly somebody in our accounting can go ahead and say, what does a lost downtime hour cost us? In this particular uh, instance, I'm going to use a mock number of $10,000 an hour. So when we're down, on average, in this particular process, it's going to be $10,000 an hour. Now, when you're going through these, notice that we only picked pumps in this because this is an example only and you can do this in, a, in an Excel spreadsheet it only takes minutes but we're going to look at uh, the various types of events that occur related to pumps in our process it could be that we shut the, the uh, system down for noise it's a, it's a foreign noise to us and we want to be uh, air on the side of caution we could be having leaks or we just could have uh, the loss of the pump function and we've put in a few failure modes in here uh, so that we could make our point about saying how often a year do these occur and when they do occur about how much uh, time are we down so i've put numbers in here um, to pre-populate but i did want to go through and say for instance in the process we're looking at let's say that we have a bearing failure about two a month we're going to say it happens 24 times a year and they're chronic. So, you know, we deal with these and we've gotten very good at being able to fix these. So what I'm going to do is say that we're only going to be down about an hour between the staging, the planning, the scheduling, and getting this uh, changed out really quickly. So I'm going to put one hour in here. And you'll notice that that equates to $240,000 a year. If I go ahead and look at shaft failures, well, you know, shaft issues are going to be uh, not as frequent. And let's just say that we're going to have a uh, maybe two of those a year on this particular process that I'm looking at. And it's going to take a little bit more time uh, on the planning, the staging, and the, you know, to execute this work order. So we're going to go ahead and put uh, two hours in here. And that will equate to $40,000 a year. Now, this by itself is just showing our production losses. And that's often where uh, people think that, you know, I might have had a $100 bearing failure, but uh, that, and nobody cares. But it's not the bearing failure that matters. It's the lost downtime hour. But for the sake of this example, we've only included production losses. But I do want to give you food for thought. What we did not include in these numbers, which could be uh, additional columns you could add in your spreadsheets, is the, the labor dollars addressed uh, to attend to this and the material cost. So we didn't include those things. I could go even further and say that, you know, that we've had customer complaints and that we have issues related to that, which, uh, you know, which should alarm us because uh, certainly we don't want our customers going away. So when you're putting numbers in here, be very conservative. So go on the low end. If you're, if you're working on a range of saying, you know, it takes between, uh, you know, two and four hours, just go ahead and put the two hours in because we want to err on the, the lower end so that we could say when people try to discredit our numbers, well, you know, it really was twice this number and I took the, the, the low end of this. So this is was a very simple tool. It's, it's not comprehensive. We could do it in a spreadsheet um, uh, for the entire system and include other pieces of equipment. We wanted to give you a feel for the concept of demonstrating what the cost of a chronic failure is over a year. So really, this is for the failures that are hidden in plain sight. We fix them all the time and we get frustrated because uh, we feel that if nobody else cares, then I'm not going to care. I, I just get really good at fixing this. So please go ahead and give this a try. It, it uh, certainly will be able to help you demonstrate the cost, the annual cost to your CFO or your finance people. So good luck and give us a ring if you need a hand. Thank you.